So I want to show you here what I've done. And hopefully this will help explain a little better what I was trying to explain before. Um, so I still have this template that I made. And I put guidelines. And the, and let me, the guidelines are, I'll show you where they are. Um, this embroidery has these bands of embroidery running down the sides and there's two rows of them. And so that all of those line up correctly throughout the different pieces, I put guidelines here at the top on both sides and one in the middle so that I know that everything's centered. And I did the same with the sides. This is where each of the guidelines should should meet with the with the corresponding side. Then I went and digitized this top section. And again, I used the the design sort of. Um, I, I I used it as a background and went in here and and did the design and then I enlarged it so it fit into that space. So again, the, this background here is, I think I actually used this one here because it's flatter. The other two are warped uh, because the, the vestment is hanging and not flat on a table or something. So I used this one and as a background and designed it and made it fit into this space with the, the edges lining up with these guidelines and the top again guiding up lining up with the guideline this should be the neckline of this vestment and then let me turn that off so now that i have that uh, i'm going to use it the same design in this section and this section so uh, it's grouped together and you click all the parts to it and then you group it. It's, it's grouped together. And so I'll just copy it, paste it, turn it 90 degrees in doesn't matter which direction. Um, and then drag it over. Wrong, drag the wrong one, of course. Drag it over to, to here. And I have to get in close enough so that I can match it up so that this these two ends of this embroidery match. And, and they should match here as well, and they do. So then I again I'll paste another one and turn it the other direction which would be 270 degrees and come out so I can see what I'm doing and drag that one over here and come in and make sure that everything matches. If all of these three parts are the same, I only have to do um, and fit in the hoop. I only have to do one design and I can use it three times. That's part of the the idea behind this and so everything all the corners are meeting everything seems to be lined up correctly now this piece in here I had to shrink so that it fit it met these lines correctly and it wasn't too big into this area in here I'm not sure that I like this IHS I need a better picture the, the background there is really hard to see what's going on there, but I made one. I can probably, I, you can, I could put almost anything in this area. I can just keeping this, this uh, outline, anything, I can make anything to fit in here. If I decide to use this design again for, for another vestment or some other kind. So now everything's lined up. I had, we come out a little bit so I can show you. I actually did have from the front two different flowers. I thought I did. This one has diamond and this has round ones. Um, and I shrunk both of them slightly. They're smaller than the ones that are on the front one so that I could get 
this motif here to fit at the bottom and this motif to fit in between the two. So um, it's more along the same lines as the original vestment, which let me pull up picture. Um, so if you look on the picture, it's that's closer to what the original vestment had. Uh, so, so now the design section is finished. Let me hide this again. So now what I need to do is find out what, put these into hoops so that I can send them over to the machine. So I'm going to come out a little bit. Now, again, I don't need this black back, this black line around here. This is simply part of my, my template. So I'm going to come down here to multi-hooping. And it pulls up the hoops and everything's in green. The question is, what's in, what is in what hoop? So this top section up here is in one hoop. This side section here is in one hoop because I can see this is the outline of that IHS thing. And this one is in one hoop. That's, that hoop is this one here. The centerpiece, the IHS with its border, is in one hoop. This, now this is where it gets tricky down here with these pieces in here. Um, the whole bottom, that is the flower and that motif at the bottom, seem to fit into one hoop. But I'll have to double check that. This flower, actually they don't. I, I can see it's going a little bit over here. Um, this flower... And this motif here, they do fit in one hoop. So what I'm going to, what so you can see, there's three hoops here. This one, this one. Let me pull this one out. There's this one that's doing the top flower and this top motif. Then there's this one that's doing the bottom motif, and then there's this one that's doing nothing but this little piece in the middle. And so. Now that I know which what is in what hoop, I can, I have to now it can it can send it this way, but I prefer to do it myself to make sure I get the right things in the right places. And I also need to add markings for the center of the hoop and for where they attach to each other. So I need to decide what is going to be the first hoop that's going to get sewn. This, it could be the centerpiece, but I'm going, because this is the one that it has, is the fullest, which means it's not going to have any wiggle room. This would be my first choice of my first hoop. So I'm going to come out of this. Come, And I'm going to take that and everything that's in that hoop, which is this piece. And they're grouped together so I can click on the two of them. And I'm going to cut them out. And I'm going to open up a new, dis new hoop. And I have to come out a ways because it'll paste it right where it is in that hoop. And paste it. So here it is, but that's not where my hoop is. My hoop is here. So I want to put all of this up here in this hoop, make sure that it all fits. So the red line is the outline of the hoop, and I've got about one centimeter at the top and one centimeter at the bottom and two, pretty much two on each side. Let me set through this a little two on each side to play with. So now, this is going to be the first hoop, but I need to know where the center is, and I'm going to mark that. Um, so digitize an open line, and I'm going to use black 
and I'll click right there in the center, go up one centimeter, down one centimeter, back to the center, and one to the each side, and mark my center. Hit enter. Now that black one I'm going to put all the way up at the top because that's not going to get sewn. That's simply a marking and I check that with an empty needle or just walk through that. Now if I had, if this were a second hoop, well I'll show you. I'm going to do, I'll do the second hoop. So this is the first hoop on the front. So we're going to file, save, design as. And this is the front, so it's front one S for Sartouche and save it. No, I don't want, what is this one? Um, it says there is a front one. All right. That's fine. I, I I can save it. That was just I had saved. It re, I want to replace it because that doesn't have everything that I wanted. But wait a minute. This is this is not the front. This is the back. File. Save design as. This is back. Back 1S. All right. So that's the, that's the first hoop. Then I come back here. Now, this, this would be my second hoop, this piece in here. So let me click on that, cut it. Open a new one. <coughs> Come out and paste it. And I want to see the hoop. All right, so I want to drag this up into the hoop. Now, there is a crosshair here from because I use the same one on the front, but I have changed it a little bit, but I'm still going to put that down. All right, so that's the first, the black is the first thing. Now I also need to put some keys because this is going to match the other one. And there's, it's going to match up right here. And if I look at the other part, Let me just copy this, and bring it over in here so we can see it, paste it, and move it up. So, so this where the two where the two parts meet this is this is where the two parts meet so this is where i need to put a key uh so that i can match this to this without having to sew anything so i'm going to go digitize an open line come in close enough so i can see where i am and I'm going to put just a line up and down here twice. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And again, that's that black thread. Well, it's showing blue here. Um, Let 
Make sure I have the right things. So these two, make them black, send them to the top, and bring them down. Now there's there is there are already keys marked here. I don't just want to see those, but that that um, that's. I can ungroup this now. Um, so this, there is already a key in there from before, from the from the front, and I could just leave, use those uh, if they're and they seem to be right. But I'm just, I'm going to delete that, and then I also need to delete the one that I brought over. Delete. So this is the second hoop. So this is going to be file, save design as, back to S, save. Now I can come back here and I'm ready for this one. And so I want it and the bottom section. Let me make sure that's all the same hoop. I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, see that's all one section. We've done this hoop, we've done this hoop, and we've done this hoop. So this is all one hoop. And so that's what I want right now. And let's stop this and and just drag it over the whole thing. Now you can see there are some keys in here. And let me just come in and make sure see what these keys are. I'm going to ungroup this and see, so that I can see. This is this is marking the center of the hoop, but that was that flower, and this has been added on, so that's no longer going to be the center of the hoop. And let me see what these these other keys are. Come on. So that's the, the key up here, and this is the key on this side, and those are good, and. So these two keys are fine. Let me see what else I have here. Um, all of those, those are all parts of the design until we get down to the bottom. Then we have another center of a hoop, but we, should, we don't need this because this is now part of this hoop. So we can delete that one. And there's a key here, but I don't need it because that's still part of the design now. Same with this one, and this one, and this one. All of those I don't need. So all of this from here to here is one hoop. So I'll cut that. File, open, open a new one, and I want to show the hoop. Paste it, and I'm going to group that because I had ungrouped it, and I when I move this, I don't want anything to move, and bring this up into the hoop. And it should fit. It fits just like the other one with a centimeter all around. So um, now, as I say, that's that crosshair is here, and it should be here. So uh, now I can, now it's in the hoop. I can ungroup it, and I'm going to move this down to where it's supposed to be.
and and there should still be these keys up here and that's fine are these all black yes so those are the keys for the for this hoop and now I can save this file save design as this is front three S no this is not front this is back I keep doing this back three S see this it thinks it's this one but it's not yeah I'll replace it Okay, so we have backs one, two, and three. And we come back here. Now this one we only need to do once. Uh, so we'll just do this. We'll take this one and copy it. Paste it. I don't want to paste it. Oh, what am I doing? All right, so we copied it. Let's go to now. We need to open a new, new template, a new hoop. Come out, paste it, bring it down into the hoop. All right, let's come in close. So there's kind of centering this. There's three centimeters, three and a half at the top. Two on each side, three at the bottom. That looks good. Um, going to go up a little bit more just so there's two at three centimeters at the top and three at the half at the bottom that puts my my crosshair right here above this triangle where all of these things seem to meet so let's go in and digitize an open line black right there's the cross here um, it's a little off center so let's change this so that it's on center okay digitize an open line black cross here here enter now we're also going to need um, places keys to sh so that I know that when I on this one the first one that's sewn it won't matter but when I sew the other sides I'll, I'll need to know where they that they meet at this point here and this point here and the same on the other side so I need a key here so I'm going to digitize an open line and I'll put a line here. Enter. And a line here. And a line here. And a line here. These don't get sewn. They with thread. They but the the needle gets walked through it. So all of these black I'm going to get pushed to the top because and then I'm going to save this. Let's come out a little bit so I can see it. 
Okay, and I'm going to save file, save as, design as. Back four. This is actually going to be four, five, and six because it'll be used three times. And save that. So now I can go back here and I did this one and I've did, done this one and this one. The only one I need now is the center. So that's this one and this one. And I'm going to copy those or cut them. I cut them because then I know that I've done them. They're not left here to get confused me with the other hoops. So cut it, file, new hoop. Okay. Show the hoop. Um, paste it. And so this, this is that, and I'm going to put a cross here in the center, just so that I know that's the center. Digitize an open line. Black. Okay, and send that to the top. Now I can do this, when I go to actually do this, I'm probably going to do this as a separate applique and sew it down in the center so that it is really centered. Uh, but I, by putting the black mark here, I, if I need to do it on the fabric, I'll know where the center is supposed to be. And I may end up changing these, this green part. Um, I may end up changing that green part or using, I can put anything in. I can just keep this red frame and put whatever I want in here. Maybe a Sacred Heart or Immaculate Heart or something else or IHS, a different IHS once I know what the person wants. So that's how you, that's how I do this. Now all of these have been, I'm going to save this one. File. Come on, file, did I undo anything there? No, that's all right. File, save as, and this is going to be the center. And so now I've got all of the pieces. And there's nothing left here except my template, which I can um, I'm going to save it. Save design as. I'll call it blank three. Blank backspace. It still has that artwork underneath it. In case I need to come back and do anything, I've I've got it here. It still has this artwork on it. If I get a better picture, I might come in here and do do that. So I can close this one out, and I can close all of these. But I'll uh, double check them first. And at this point, I could send, send them over to my machine because they're ready to sew. That's the bottom one. This is the middle one. And this is the top one. And... That's how it works.